Hey, John Izzo here of IzzoStrengthTraining.com and TrainerAdvice.com, the blog. Just wanted to give you another pec tear uh, post-op surgery. Uh, I had surgery about eight weeks ago. I'm a little over eight weeks now in my uh, rehab and uh, completely off the uh, sling. Had a uh, two-month post-op with the doctor. He's, uh, he's, he's very happy with the progress I've made. However, he's told me uh, not to get too cocky. And uh, I uh, needed to hear that um, because I think with a lot of these videos and all the feedback I've been getting, a lot of people think I'm a bionic man or something. And uh, it's, it's really not. I just take really good care of it. And, uh, you know, the exercises are not as intense as I used to do uh, in my facility. And I'm not going boss to the wall with a lot of stuff and I'm very in tune with the with the uh, the area that's been uh, surgically fixed so uh, I'm using very light stuff uh, I've begun using a lot of uh, isometric stuff um, been focusing more on other parts of the body and uh, just working around the area and, and the muscles surrounding the pec uh, that's been fixed so um, other than that uh, Range of motion is uh, pretty much completely back. Um, it's just uh, strength and uh, basically uh, being careful with movements that I really don't think about uh, too often, like reaching out for stuff or uh, you know uh, long lever type movements where I have a loaded, uh, let's say like a grocery bag or something, and I keep my arm out stretched or even. Sometimes stretches that are, uh, you know, the, the, the stretching, the flexibility is, is really great. It's, uh, sometimes I just have to be careful as far as how much I push the area. As the doctor noted that the, uh, the uh, stitches and, and what he fixed in there is, uh, is going to probably weaken over time, but it's the matter of the muscles strengthening and the tissue uh, around the area strengthening over time. So he just wants me to be careful and... Uh, Again, to note with a lot of these videos, you see a lot of the exercises that I'm doing. It's just really for entertainment purposes, just to give you guys an idea of my uh, progress so far. Uh, I don't do it for any educational purposes. I mean, the idea, if you suffer an injury like this or something else, you should always really follow the doc your doctor's advice or your physical therapist's advice. Uh, don't take into account the stuff that I do. Uh, that's for me. And the, uh, the videos and, and these types of follow-up videos are really for entertainment purposes for people that are, are interested in my progress. A lot of people that follow me on Facebook um, have been with me since, uh, since the injury happened and then uh, have been through me through the whole surgery process. So uh, day by day, week by week. So uh, I'm doing well. I'm not looking forward to bench pressing. I don't miss bench pressing. Uh, I'm looking six months to a year before I even get underneath a bar again. Um, and I'm fine with that. And so uh, right now it's basically functionality and uh, getting to a point where uh, I don't have to think about the, uh, the pack and uh, making sure that I don't re-injure it or anything like that. So with that being said, progress is going great. Thank you for watching these videos and uh, stay tuned. We'll get week nine to 10. Uh, going uh, so right now we're two months in since surgery so uh, feeling good and looking forward to getting uh, the size back chopping down some of the weight and uh, get my conditioning levels back up all right thanks for watching